Hey guys and welcome back to Gold Rush and me mm, changing where my mic is positioned because I'm turning off the freaking engine. Uh, because I've left the room and came back. So now you know. Now you know that I'm also batch recording this. Bum bum bum. No, it's disingenuous. He didn't record this the day it went up. Ah! Put your mouth. Um. So yeah, I think I'm probably. I mean, I was I was going to mine until. Ah, no, it's just. I was I was going to say I was going to mine until 100 ounces, and then I was uh. Going to stop to get it all sorted, but nay. And then I was uh, fucking hell, studio, finish your train of thought. And then I was going to say, oh, I'll just mine until the uh, the excavator runs out of juice, but then also, yeah, I'll just do it till 100 ounces. Because I changed the, the goalpost so much because I said I was going to mine until I got to like 70 ounces, and then I was like, oh, I'm going to mine until I get to 100 ounces. And then I'm like, oh, I'll just mine until I get the excavator. Nah, let's just mine until 100 ounces, which should be, should be this next, uh, this next clean out, if the game doesn't decide to give me another like freaking three ounce clean out. As though it's totally that um It's totally the The bedrock just given zero. And like scraping stuff up from the bedrock. Oh, look at that, I could like. Not like I want to, to do too much of that, but yeah, I could. Get some of the, the other stuff from that back wall, just due to the angle or whatever that I've managed to do here. I think it's that much of a big deal though. Yeah, it'd be interesting for me to go back and check to see what that other uh, block was like with the uh, the mining report to see to see if the um, if it does if the gold map does update automatically as you mine because that would be interesting to see. What about there? Fifty, sixty percent. Uh, so, yeah, so I've been playing, um, oh, what was I talking about last episode, in the last episode, streaming. I bet me wanting to stream a bit more. Um, yeah, like, I've really missed streaming. Uh, like, I really enjoyed, remember, uh, Drunk Souls and Chill, that was so good. Just playing some Dark Souls. I mean, and the, the good thing about that is there's no story. There's no story with Dark Souls, so you're not like, oh, well, there is a story, of course there's a story. But you're not like, oh, like, oh, I need to ignore chat while I pay attention to the story, because, like, it doesn't matter. You just play it and uh, I would like to play more games like that on on stream like Escape from Tarkov is one of the main ones that I want to play because I love that game I know it's an FPS it's not like usually what we play on this channel but I mean yeah like I would like to do that maybe they are billions as well play some of that on stream uh, that's still like penciled in as one of my uh, actual series games so maybe not yet but I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, just stuff like that that's like easy to play and you it doesn't matter if you miss a stream, you can always pick it back up again. I mean, I'm thinking about Monster Hunter for a stream, uh, Monster Hunter World when it comes out because I'm definitely covering it. So I'm thinking like, do I stream that? Do I just play that on the channel? Um, do I stream it and then take chunks off the stream for re-upload on the channel? So like, different hunts. I don't know, I don't know. Well, it definitely looks like we're getting over 100 ounces here, so. Wait until this is done. Shake it, shake it, shake it. 
All right, wave tables finished processing. Let's turn you off. Turn you off. 106,000. Let's grab the magnetite. Put it here. This has got 60 ounces. 60 ounces, 60% magnetite. Alright. And we might as well just go and sell it. Don't get trapped in a freaking hole. Oh my god, Toby getting trapped in a hole. I was driving, um, I've currently got uh, a hold of my dad's car because he's on holiday just now. And, um, I sound like such a child when I say that. But yeah, my um, when my parents go on holiday, I, I give them a lift to and from the airport, generally, unless something comes up. Because I don't mind, I kind of like the drive. Um, and it's only like, what, like half an hour or something, 45 minutes trip. Uh, to Glasgow Airport from where I live. Oh no! You've just given them like a circle to draw around it. No, um, so yeah, it's only like 45 minutes trip uh, to Glasgow Airport, so I, I often give them a lift. Um, and then they basically just leave their car with me. And uh, I get to drive around in it, so... Right. Negative seven grand. Wow, okay, great. Got two grand. Um, yeah, and anyway, I was driv driving around with it today. Um, if you must know, I was visiting my grandparents. Um, and I had a fucking massive pothole, and it was like, it was full of water, so you couldn't freaking tell how deep it was. Um, and it was one of them where it was like right beside traffic lights as well, so I had to go into it because I had to go into that lane for the traffic lights. I couldn't like have dodged it or anything. And fucking hell, man! Like it was, it was actually huge. So I'm freaking worried about my like. Oh great, have I uh, have I fucked his tire? Like, will I need to replace his tire for him? Have I fucked the fucking front left suspension? Will that need replaced? Like, it's just. Raging man, raging. The thing about the thing about the UK and like Scotland in particular is that the um, the government tend to do these like resurfaces or patch jobs where it's not it's not proper tarmac, and it, I call it tarmac. That's like uh, the British name for asphalt. It's actually um it's actually a brand name, which is funny enough, which is pretty funny. Uh, what's that? Five grand. I need to get rid of. How much is it going to cost me to do the full thing? A grand, so I need like six grand ish. There we go. Um. So yeah, uh, it's not like actual like proper asphalt or tarmac or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's more like it's more like stones that they then pour tar over the top of. So they put these like black stones down and then they pour tar over them to get them to like stick. And the problem with that is it, it just doesn't fucking work. Like it just, what ends up happening is either the rain gets to it or just cars going over gets to it or, which happens in Scotland so bloody much, um, the freeze thaw when it's like between going from freezing temperature and then uh, non-freezing, I guess. Uh, basically it just breaks it up. Let's sell this gold bar. 100 G's. Thank you very much. Loan. Wait, 170 grand? I don't have enough. Oh. I didn't realise my loan was 170 grand. Oh, well. Uh, I still want to... I still want to go back to the store and buy something anyway. Um, yeah, so basically what ends up happening is they fill up these holes with this little crappy stone tar mixture. Then as it gets, uh, as it freezes and then unfreezes, you get the freeze thaw action, which uh, breaks it all apart. And then you've got pothole again. And literally this will, like, they'll fill this pothole in and then within six months it's there again. 
and it's an actual joke that they even do it. Uh, this is what I wanted. So grand, yes, thank you. Uh, yeah, so it's an actual joke that they even they even do this. Um, it's probably just like the cheaper way of doing it, so they do it so that they can. Uh, They do it so they can save money in the short term, not thinking about the long term. Um, but that's basically what this is. It's a pothole that's been there for ages that is, uh, that was recently, and I mean recently, uh, treated, let's say, in this fashion. And, well, as you can tell, it's not really done much for it. It's, uh, pretty much back to where it was, which is bloody infuriating. So yeah, and the, once again, the problem with it is the the freeze thaw not only breaks up the old crap, but also wrecks more into the pothole, so it ends up worse than it originally was, which is just great. Let's just turn this engine off. So yeah, not too happy with that. So if I have damaged the vehicle, I'm going to absolutely, I'm going to be fuming, like absolutely fuming. Right, let's fire you up, my friend. Cost me a hundred bucks. So cheap for fuel, it's just a, a task, basically. Yeah, right, we've got a hundred grand, and old man Willie is probably gonna take a chunk off me. Oh, that's what I was wanting to check, actually. I was wanting to check the bank to see the price of the, uh, to see the price of the parcel. See if the parcel price had changed or if I was right. Yeah, it's still 600 grand. Yeah, apparently people were able to buy it for 60 grand. So someone had they put the 600 here, but then they'd messed up a zero when they were doing that. Those those should be linked, by the way. Those should be uh, those shouldn't be magic numbers. They should be like linked in the same function, or the same uh, the same variable. Yeah, silly sausages. And uh, if you don't understand what I'm meaning there, um, basically, a magic number is where you just put a, put a number straight into code, as opposed to using a variable and then stating why that variable, like what that variable is, etc, etc. Alright, let's, um... So that's Shaker Shaker Tumblr. Tumblr Dutlex Jig Tumblr to rock something. This thing, the D Rocker. I don't know where this goes. We have something in the uh, the journal about the D Rocker. Mining machines. Trommel Dutlex Jig. 4 inch pump, magnetite, wave table, conveyor belt. No, they haven't seen that. They haven't even finished the uh, conveyor belt one. Yeah, D Rocker. I don't, I don't understand it. I'll probably just end up buying it just to see. What is it? 57 grand. It's not too bad. What is that one? ST sluice box. I remember. So what are these all? The sluice box isn't that They're like two grand, let's just say. Two grand. Thirty so so thirty nine. Thirty nine. What's that? Seventy five, seventy four. Cut that one out just now. 74, 96 and a half. Don't actually need that. 96 and a half. Is that it? But 96 and a half. Huh. That isn't actually too bad. 
And then obviously the dump truck. Ninety six and a half and then the dump truck to get set up with tier three. What's the front loader? Be better the dump truck. It's like two hundred grand. Uh two hundred and sixty. Two two hundred and sixty grand. Where the where's my pen? Let's write this down. Uh two sixty K four T three. Okay. Sorted. The reason I'm saying you don't need that big generator is because that big generator is expensive. I would like to have it, but you can use the wee ones. You can just use a couple of the little ones and you're golden. But don't tell anyone I says that because it kind of takes away from the immersion. But if I want to get there quick, I'm going to use the little ones, I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, so cost is 260 grand for getting all that set up. And then... Uh, of course, there's another hundred and something for the, um, what's not a hundred and something for the conveyor belt, which, in my opinion, is bloody needed. Oh, no, it is needed. Because if I'm just using the dump truck, I can't, oh, God, okay. So I'm going to need another hundred and something then. For the conveyor belt to use the dump truck. So probably looking at, let's just guesstimate at... 400,000 for T3. Pretty pricey. So, <laughs> we're going to need 400k. Let's, uh, let's try and get it. Let's see if we can get it off of old, well, we need to get it off of old, Ar old Arnold. Old Arnold. But that being said, right, so my gold map, we've got this selected. It's got 400 ounces on it. Know what I mean? So, surely, obviously, sans what we give to old Arnold himself. Um, we should be pretty good. Uh, where's the... Ah, oh, there it's there. Let's see, where's the Philip location for this thing? Right, come here, Ham, alright? Okay, it's not in the location I thought it was. Excuse me! Just refuel it. It's probably going to be the entire bloody thing, isn't it? No, it's actually not too bad. Yeah, I think the, um... The little generators actually use less fuel as well, but... Like I says, once again, it's kind of immersion breaking, but I'll do it in order to save time and get into tier 3, and then I will, like, I will save up and buy the big one. If I'm going to be spending... So what did I say you needed at 30%? So... 600... Thousand... 600,000 divided by... 30 times a hundred is yeah as it's two million so I need to I need to be earning two million off of this uh, this claim before spending 600 grand is worth it to me so let's have a little look at the gold map we're doing 260 just now so two million so we need basically 2,000 ounces oh 260 oh okay the total goals went down so we need basically 2,000 ounces off of it so Let's uh let's add these just now. Three six six plus three seven seven plus three oh one. How much is that? Two four four eight eight. That's a pretty good one. Plus four six eight plus um four seven nine. This one's 313 is not too bad, actually. What? 309 as well. It's 486. Oh, it's just we aren't deep enough to actually see how good it is. Um 
plus 486. Okay, 464 plus 492. 512, Jesus. 568 plus. Uh, we'll do the 318. Yeah, that's 5,000 ounces there. That's 5 million. So that is, is definitely worth actually buying old Arnold before we finish because if, even if it's just a section that we're doing, definitely worth buying it. So I think that that'll probably be our next uh, major purchase before T. No, T3. T3 and then buy old Arnold. Even though everything's going to cost me 30% more until I buy old Arnold, that's what we're going to do. I have just got myself stuck in the hole. But that's a perfect time to end the episode there, ladies and germs. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steedrew, you've been awesome, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.